If you want to see me depot the mini masquerade palette by Juvia's Place, then stick around. Hi there, it's Ilen, and today we are tearing into this bad boy, the mini masquerade palette by Juvia's Place. I will be tearing this palette up and depotting all the shadows, worrying about sparing the shadows and not the palette. So let's get started. I am getting ready to depot the Masquerade Mini by Juvia's Place. Looks like this. And I am going to, because it is a cardboard palette, destroy the cardboard and not try to pry the shadows out from the top, but actually go at it from the bottom. And you will see that the platform that is in yellow is detachable from the base and that is how I'm going to start and all that I need to depot these shadows is a couple of knives one with a serrated edge and one with a fine edge for getting the shadows off um, the, gl the glue off the shadows I should say I'm going to need a marker for later and I have my magnets here to put as a backing assuming that these are not magnetized pans, but I will test each one because sometimes in a palette, some are magnetized and some are not, which did happen uh, to me with the Morphe 39A and also with the Jaclyn Hill palette. I will fast forward a lot of this, but I think that you will get the gist of it. And, oh, and I do use as well a pair of scissors and I do have a spatula at the ready, although I seriously doubt that I will need it. Let's get started first by removing the yellow base from the outside shell. And for that, I will use my flat blade or straight blade knife. And there we go, I have the plate, the yellow plate, where all the shadows are contained. And then the outside of the palette here. Now, what I want to do is remove the paper on the edges so that I can reveal the three layers of cardboard in which these shadows are housed. They are housed, usually they're glued on the third layer down and we just want to reveal the uh, the layers. So I'll do that right now. And I think you can see that there are three layers here. So I'll do all around to reveal all of it. Okay, now every one of the sides is freed up and I'll be able to start removing the shadows. And for that, I'm going to use my flat knife. I thought I was going to have to use my serrated edge knife for the packaging, but this packaging was not bad at all. So now I'm going to use this knife to pry between the second and third layer because that is where I can loosen up the shadows. So I'm going to basically put my blade between that second and third layer and preferably the blade away from me and just start to work across the row. And there we go. And the shadows should start to pop right out.
Removing two was a little bit trickier than I thought, but not too bad. I'm going to remove the backing. I will check to see if it is magnetized, and it is not. Because I don't have a separate reference for the names, I'm scared of mixing up the shadows, and so what I'm going to do is put the name on right away. And on to the next one. And there it is, the 16 Pans of Juvia's Place Masquerade Mini, depotted, moved over to a magnetic tart palette, and no real worse for wear. The only thing that happened was I put my finger in a couple of shadows, you can see a little nick here and there, but all of the shadows are intact and no, no casualties. No eyeshadow flying about or shattered pans, which is ultimately, I would say, a resounding success. And here is the remaining carnage. Very happy to have destroyed the palette, but not the shadows. So that's it. Another palette destroyed with the shadows spared. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. I'll be sure to respond. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care.